Okay, hopefully this will come out. Okay, I don't know. Using my iPad once again. This is a shoulder holster from Holster Monster on eBay. I paid like $105 for it. Uh, I would say the construction is as good as the 97 Galco Miami Classic holsters I have. It's it sort of constructed in the same manner. Oh, great. Once again, using my iPad as usual as a camera. This is the front of the harness. Uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. This is for, according to the description, this is for an end frame, but uh, my, obviously unload it, L frame 686, and my end frame 627, uh, both fit in here, and I'm going to close these up now, because I've shown that they're empty. Don't want to endanger any of the public. And my wife's in her office in the other room. <laughs> I'm gonna send a 357 rounds through there. Uh, comes with two speed loader pouches. And it does have a, a tie down strap. There we go. Um, I used it once. I don't really need it. And there isn't any way of taking that strap off other than just flipping it up and then you know, flipping this down. Not a big deal. Uh, I don't feel it when I wear it. And I'm going to get into where this really shines other than being able to conceal a 4-inch end frame revolver or a, uh, an L-frame revolver. And that is while driving down the road. And I had been uh, using a, a waistband, outside the waistband, pancake holster, leather. And as many of you know, I drive a, a Miata. And I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm, sec I'm comfortable in my, 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 my sexuality, or whatever you call it, my manhood. And uh, I don't care what people think. And I've never seen a woman drive a Miata. 59 years old. My 59 years, although they've only been out since 1990. I have never seen a woman in a Miata. Uh, guys come up to me at gas stations and say nice cars. They don't have women with them either. But, you know, so I, I don't know what their sexual orientation might be. But nevertheless... This allows me to carry a big hand cannon that doesn't dig into the bolsters on my car seat, is easily accessible while seated in a small car for somebody who's six foot two. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I said, this, I have no affiliation with this guy. Um, or girl, I don't know who it is, uh, but it, it, I believe it's Holster Monster. Uh, I don't know what that says on there. It's just too small to see. There's an M. And it says Smith & Wesson, S&W, N-frame, but the L-frame fits perfectly into there. Uh, this little cutout is for the sight, the rear sight. And the trick to getting this out quickly is there's a big tab over here. Just flip your, put your finger underneath here. Flip the tab up. Keep your arm down, kind of, or, or your arm pit to keep the, or you could just use a strap put this to your belt, but I just, uh, I haven't had to draw it on anybody in my car, <laughs> but I, I, I did try it, 
and uh, the easiest way is to keep your armpit down or your you know armpit muscles on on this portion and this hangs pretty low this looks kind of big and obtrusive but it's not at all and unfortunately I don't have a way of getting this on and, and showing it uh, with this um, and then just l pull it out outward a little bit tiny bit up but mostly outward and I'm going to try to balance this well it's not gonna work so there's my uh, monitor thing and let's just put one in la -de da 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 come back and snap that on and so like I said you just unsnap that and the, the, the retention's excellent I mean it just fits perfectly on, on both revolvers and um, yeah I bought a, a Galco Miami Classic uh, for an L frame, and it was two hundred fifty dollars. I got it from Amazon. Uh, I sent it back almost immediately because I just didn't see two hundred fifty dollars there. I have so many of them already, and I, I didn't want to adjust the shoulder straps and put any um, indentations from the screws into the leather uh, and this one was on its way anyhow and it it's uh, it's as good as as the Galco Miami classic and you actually get a better uh, front shoulder strap the uh, Galco Miami classic has a front shoulder strap that's the same as this uh, they they do sell an upgrade, but you you know then then we're at three hundred dollars uh, for that harness. And like I said, these work fine. That's a seven speed or seven speed. It's not a bicycle. Seven round speed loader. Um, I can also fit eight round moon clips in there for the uh, 627 uh, just clamp down on this thing with my leg <laughs> uh, I need an... <laughs> kind of really just drops right out when you're pulling it um, I need a tripod I do have a Nikon camera that does video but I don't have a tripod for it. So now I have to suffer through this nonsense. Only if you want to, though. So, yeah. Uh, there are speed loaders available for an 8-round revolver. But the uh, handle for them is much longer than the HKS. I mean, a lot of them look like they come out the bat right here. So, of course, they're not going to fit in there, but speed clips, moon clips, do. And that's that. I'm happy with it. And uh, there you go. I hope this was of some interest, some use. If you can even see it. And the leather is nice. It, it's soft. It's supple. Sounds like a Bed Bath & Beyond commercial. The stitching is great. This is a, a directional strap or button for this strap. Okay, there you go. So, unbutton from the top, button from the bottom. Oop, can't push hard enough. Ah. Keeps collapsing. Oh boy. I actually don't like directional straps. There you go. But I can pull on it like this, and it's not going to come undone. I have to come from the top. 
and then it just easily comes undone. Uh, this one, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's directional or not. I actually wouldn't want I wouldn't want it to be directional. Yeah, it just goes straight down. Um, because then you might spend 30 seconds trying to get your uh, revolver out. And that's that. Uh, everything, the hardware is the same as uh, the Galco Miami Classic. It has an M. There aren't any M's in my name. Frank Butta is my real name. Um... Grandmaster Butta. And I keep saying that's that, and then I, I find something else to point out. The screws, the Chicago screws, are larger than on the, Ga the Galco Miami Classic. And the rear brass portion is domed and it's larger than the Galco Miami Classic. So I'm, I'm going to say that these are better quality than the Galco Miami Classic. How many times in one minute can you say Galco Miami Classic? As my wife laughs from the other room. And uh, no, that's okay. You can laugh all you want, Yvonne. These videos are basically a joke for me. And that's that. You don't need to buy tie-downs. And I've sat on the sofa at night with this on, you know, and come home, sit on the sofa, and I don't even notice I'm wearing it. Maybe I have some sort of strange, exotic uh, disease where I can't feel my sides. But that's that. And right down here is my one, a toy that came yesterday. Oops. My Hoppies Elite ball bearing carbon fiber pistol cleaning rod. <laughs> and uh, my wife sat on the sofa last night. We have two sofas here sat there last night and she said what is that and I said well what's it look like <laughs> and uh you know so this went on for quite a while I said it's a Harry Potter wand I'm going to direct an orchestra um and then I said to her oh yeah you wouldn't know because I clean the pistols I load the magazines and uh, you just shoot them. You don't. You all. The only thing you do is pull the trigger. So I guess she's the trigger man, trigger woman, trigger person. That's all I've got to say. Shout out to Riders Range. Check out his fantastic channel. And um, the guy's great. Harley Ryder is his name. And he's a, a world champion pistol arrow and former uh, police officer, uh, police detective, just uh, an all-around great guy. So, have a good day.